This video is sponsored by Adorama. Recently on Twitter, as well as on YouTube, there's been a lot of chatter on what the next mini, or what people are gonna call already the mini three, what is gonna be on the mini three. There's been some leaked images out there. So what I did is I put on my community tab on YouTube and asked you guys, what are the things, or what is that one feature of the next mini, or we'll just call it the mini three. What is the next feature? What is that one feature of the Mini 3 that would make you want to go out and buy it. So in this video, let's just quickly go through that list, of course, referencing the DJI Mini 2. But before we go through it, a quick word from today's sponsor, Adorama. And for those who aren't familiar with Adorama, Adorama is one of the largest, most reputable online retail stores that specializes in everything from photography, videography, lighting, musical instruments, and even these right here, drones from all of the major manufacturers. And right now there is a sale on the DJI Mini 2, also the DJI Action 2, to GoPros, they have a bunch of things like that that are currently on sale, especially right now if you wanna take advantage of it for St. Paddy's Day. And the one thing I like about Adorama is that some of these will have these custom packages a little bit different than what the manufacturers offer. For instance, right now, the DJI Mini 2, they have a package that includes extra batteries, a landing pad, a couple other accessories. And right now, if you do need a memory card, they have one that I normally use, which is the SanDisk 128. They have that on sale right now for a little over 20 bucks. So if you're looking at picking up some extra gear, a drone, or even the memory card, make sure you guys use those links down below in the video description. And now let's get back to the list. Seems like a lot of people want obstacle avoidance as well as active track and that's definitely up there on my list as well so it looks like a lot of you guys are hoping that these holes now aren't just going to be little fake vents that they're actually going to be something like the vision sensors that we have here on the DJI Mavic 3. Now, I don't know if they're gonna have something on the rear. We'll more likely have the same sensors here at the very bottom. So if they do come out with it, and if it's a weight thing, I hope that they're gonna at least put two on the front, maybe one on the back, uh, or optional back, but I think having the ability to have at least forward obstacle avoidance, and with that, you should be able to have the standard ones that they have for focus track, which would be active track, things like spotlight, also point of interest. Coming in around 30% of you are looking at a larger sensor as well as a better quality of camera. Currently, the Mini 2 has a one over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor. I'm assuming and we're thinking that Probably we might have something like maybe the Air 2 camera, but that's about a half inch sensor. Somewhere around there, anywhere between that half inch sensor and this sensor right here is what I would assume that it might move up to. And the third thing people are wanting to see on the DJI Mini 3 is longer flight time. Now right now the DJI Mini 2 is rated for 31 minutes, but of course when you're out there flying, depending on how you fly, how aggressive you are, if you're in sport mode or not, you'll normally get around that 23, 24, 25 minutes of actual flight time. Now honestly, that is still pretty good. I'm not exactly sure you know, how we're gonna increase that besides having some upgrade in battery technology. But as far as weight goes, I feel like you know we're almost maxing out the weight as far as the battery goes. So maybe if we did have a little bit of an upgrade on the battery technology, it might be able to squeeze out a little bit more flight time on this, maybe bump it up to 34 minutes or so, 33, 34 minutes when you'll probably get actual flight time, maybe around that 25 to 27 minutes of flight time. And that's gonna be a long time to be flying this small of a drone up in the air. And the next one we'll talk about based on some of the images that were online of this possible Mini 3 is this remote right here, but with something like this screen that we have on the RC Pro. Now, if there is some sort of pro package that the Mini might come out with, that could be a possibility as well. Putting this screen on this type of remote control. I really like using these types of remotes because the battery life is actually a lot better. You don't worry about your phone battery. And also these normally will work in better conditions as far as weather conditions. Next thing that popped up on the list is wind stability. Now the DJI Mavic 2 is rated for that level five wind resistance. And it actually does pretty well. I've seen a lot of tests out there that even though it is in extreme weather conditions, extreme wind, this thing can hold its own. Now. We're dealing with something that if it is gonna remain under that 250 gram mark, that you know how much can you do to the drone to resist the wind besides putting in stronger motors, which would then add a little bit of weight, having a more maybe dense platform. But at the same time, like I said, if we're going for that 200 or under 250 gram mark, there's only so much you can do to fight the wind. That's the reason why they have other drones like these, the Air 2S, Mavic 3, which can withstand a lot higher wind resistance 
especially at altitudes. And for the next feature, people would like to see after reading some of the comments is they'd like to see something like 4K 60 frames a second on the Mini 3. Right now, that's something that does come on the DJI Air 2 as well as the higher platforms. So if we did move up in camera as far as sensor and camera quality, more than likely I would assume that we would bump up also the frame rate and resolution. So 4K at 60 frames a second, I would assume will be that next step up. Right now, the Mini 2 shoots at 4K at 30. And jumping back over to this remote control, the RC Pro, if we have a new Mini 3 that does have the new OcuSync, we would assume it might have that. So also we would assume that it should work with something like the DJI RC Pro. I really hope that DJI does include this and it, they include it out of the gate because of course, if people have bought something like the DJI Mavic 3 or even upgraded to the RC Pro and fly it with the Air 2S, I think having this thing along with this would be a great option, especially if you just get the base model Mini 3 and then you can use your existing RC Pro. Like they mentioned on their website, it should work with future drones and this is the future drone. So hopefully if it is gonna be compatible, it'll be compatible right out of the box so that we're not waiting a month or two down the line. And the last thing on the list is compatibility with the motion controller and the DJI FPV goggles. The reason why I put that on there is because I think with small drones like this, I think just having that additional experience using the motion controller as well as goggles would be a nice plus. Something small that you want to have and just use as for a lot more fun compared to, I would say, these right here where you know it's a little bit more serious, you're probably going out there to get a little bit higher quality. But something like this, I think pairs well with the motion controller and the FPV goggles. So hopefully they'd be compatible with the new DJI Mini 3. And those are the eight features that were talked about on my poll, but I also added a separate poll there on what you are thinking the price will be on the basic package of the new DJI Mini 3. And looking at the numbers right now, I did put a poll 38% of you are thinking it's gonna be between four to $500. 34% uh, are looking at five to $600. And six to $700, about 28% of you thought that the base package of the new DJI Mini 3 would be around. Of course, I know everyone's hoping it's gonna be the cheapest one. And being that this one is still in that mid $400 range, I'm probably assuming it's gonna be around that five to $600 for the base package. And if we're looking at getting, of course, a fly more combo, you're gonna add in another $150 or so. That'll normally include, I would assume, a couple batteries, the hub, a bag, or something along those lines. And then if we jumped even to a higher version, if there is something like an RC Pro or a Pro remote controller, I would assume that's gonna bump up the price a lot more, a few hundred dollars more than that. So that could bring it up to, you know, an, an extra three, $400 possibly, for that separate remote control. Let me know what you guys think. If there's also some features I missed, let me know what features are you hoping for on the next Mini 3, as well as the price range. Are you guys thinking the same way I'm thinking? Are you hoping? Of course, we're all hoping it's gonna be a lot cheaper, but what's a realistic price range that you guys are thinking that the Mini 3 would launch at? As well as also, let me know some of those features that you'd like to see on this next drone. Hopefully you guys got some value from this video and if you did, a big like would be much appreciated. Once again, thanks to our sponsor on this video, Adorama. Make sure you guys use those links down below if you guys are interested in some of the great deals that they're having for St. Patrick's Day. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, turn that bell notification on. This is Aldrin Estacio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.